Mr. Wesley. Yes. Mr. Wesley. Yes. Your guests have arrived. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Just a moment. Just a moment. A moment. Oh. Well, see what you think of this. Oh, the depth of love divine, the unfathomable grace. Who shall say how bread and wine God into us conveys? How the bread his flesh imparts, how the wine transmits his blood. Here's where I was stuck. Something, something, something in people's hearts bringing all the life of God. Well, it, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming this evening. My name is Charles Wesley. You may be more familiar with my older brother, John, who is much better known than I. John Wesley it seems so strange to refer to him in such a formal way. In the family, he's always Jackie. And I was always Charlie. Well, I understand that you would like to hear the stories of the early days of Methodism. And there's nothing I'd like to tell you more. I'm so happy you came tonight to hear them. Jack and I were both born in Epworth, which is a little market town in the east of England, where our father was rector of St. Andrew's Parish Church. Methodism really goes back in many ways to our mother. It refers to a disciplined method of living, a Bible method. And it was something that our mother taught us from infancy. She believed very much in having a disciplined life. I suppose one has to be disciplined to manage to have 19 children, <laughs> although only 10 of us survived to adulthood. Father was a a difficult man. He was an ardent royalist, was always preaching about one's duty to the royalty, and I think he alienated many of his parishioners. He was a difficult man to know in many ways. He thought of himself as a poet, published some volumes of poetry. Uh, one of them was entitled Maggot, hardly a poetic title, and it contained poems such as The Tame Snake in the Box of Bran, didn't seem to me to be very inspired poetry, but he was a good man. Although our mother, Susanna, had much more to do, I think, with our spiritual growth and well-being. In fact, much of Methodism traces back to her in many ways. She would set aside an hour each week for each child specifically, where she would spend that time in religious instruction and focus only upon that child. I think this was very rare in our day. Our sister tells a story of one time when Jackie was crying about something. She said, uh, Jackie, please cry softly. It's not your turn. 